We'll continue with this morning's recorded broadcast in just a few moments. I'm honored this morning to have as my guest one of the truly distinguished artists of our time, Metropolitan Opera Basso star Cesare Siepi. Signor Siepi, welcome to the show. I thank you very much, Mr. Wagner, for inviting me. I remember the enormous excitement that uh, greeted your debut in Don Carlo uh, when Mr. Bing began his tenure at Metropolitan. It was one of the, the, uh, the great moments, I think, of the Opera House's history. Well, I assume it was, and I am definitely, I'm sure that it was a great moment for me. This is no question about it. It was, unfortunately, too long ago almost. Well, you were a very, young, <laughs> you were a very young man when you started. Yes, yeah, still it's 1950. 1950. It was at the end of 1950, and ever since, uh, ever since I've been uh, currently singing at the Metropolitan Opera, not full season sometimes, uh, shorter season some other time, but uh, I've been coming back and forth here ever since, since, since then. Yes. And singing a whole variety of roles. You made your debut, of course, as, uh, as King Philip, but you've since sung uh, Mozart brilliantly, of course. Is Mozart perhaps the thing you, do, you like to do best? Uh, it's among the things I like to do best. Uh, I would say that I am uh, particularly attached to, to Mozart in reference to New York because uh, New York gave me the opportunity of singing Mozart. Because I not that I didn't have uh, opportunities before, I should be more exact about, but uh, I didn't have the, the, I didn't even have the the, the idea of, of ending in, t not ending, I mean, uh, ending, uh, switching to to a repertoire that wasn't touched before, uh, for many reasons. Perhaps uh, uh, having grown in my career, uh, my career in in, in Italy. Italy uh, is not particularly necessarily uh, Mozart-minded. Yes, and at least then it wasn't. And they were certainly, in any case, they were certainly not considering me as a as a as a Mozart uh, interpreter. Uh, you know, they, there is an American said they said that the, the green looks the the grass looks greener <laughs> on the other side. The other side. So uh, I had some uh, some ideas to do Mozart. Besides, I like music per se, per se and uh, and. Uh, even before uh, thinking of having an engagement to, in an opera, in a Mozart's opera, I, I knew the score of, uh, let's say, Don Giovanni or Marys of Figure. The opportunities that came in uh, in Italy were rare, and uh, they n never came to a conclusion anyway, to the point that I figured out, well, after all, I'm an Italian bass, I'm a Verdi, Verdian voice, as they say, and... Uh, I'm just as busy with uh, so many other operas, and I put aside the idea of of doing Mozart. When I came here, instead, immediately after the second, the first season, uh, uh, thank to the, the dearest late conductor uh, Fritz Reiner, and of course the management, uh, they uh, gave me the opportunity of touching Mozart, uh, not with Don Giovanni, as a matter of fact, but with Figaro, Which because I'm. Yeah. Um, I'm uh, a figure a senior to Don Giovanni for, for me because I did it before, and uh, then after then uh, I did also Don Giovanni. And well, and both these roles have become major triumphs in your career. They're milestones, really. In, uh, well, I thank you for that. I yeah, certainly did them, made them, made them, made, sang them many, many times. I sang them magnificent many places. Thank you very much. But also here at the Met, you've uh, aside from being just a Verdian basso, you sung certainly all the great Verdi roles, but you've also sung Boris, for example, in a a totally different kind of repertoire. Yes, that was quite a while ago, too. Oh, I believe it was about 55. Was when you first Boris, yes, I think so. 54, 55, 56. I did, uh, yeah, that was the, the English translation, of right. course. As a matter of fact, I, I hardly sang Russian, that, uh, I, in Russian anything, maybe some, some lead, you know, some songs, uh, art songs, or I sang some, once I remember, in New York, I sang, I sang in a concert with a Philharmonic, with a New York Philharmonic, uh, the Lady of Minsk. Yes, Shostakovich. Yes, in Russian, and I learned it like, uh, you know, piece by piece, <laughs> because phonetically, <laughs> phonetically, because yeah. uh, I really... But the rest, uh, as you said, uh, Metropolitan is a real international uh, opera house with international companies and... Uh, one of the tremendous assets of this theater is that, uh, with exception of some uh, deliberate uh, English translation, generally the repertoire is presented in the in the original sure. language. So, I also sang French, French, of course. Sure, Mephistopheles won another great triumph for you. Uh, yeah. 
and uh, as far as German is concerned, instead my repertoire is uh, limited uh, to to um, Lieder, and uh, with the exception of some excerpts, you know. I was going to come to that in just, in just a second. You're doing a concert very shortly in New Jersey, aren't you, uh, with, with orchestra? Yes, I uh, appear with the Newark uh, Symphony in in November, and uh, that, that's the one case. I am singing, for instance, uh, the, the, the the entire the, the end of Val. Valkyrie, you know, the farewell... Wotan's farewell. Wotan, uh, farewell. Is there any chance of moving into some of the German repertoire, do you think? Well, yeah, yes, in Vienna, in Vienna, I, I have a sort of a, a blank check to do Gurnemans in German, uh, Parsifal. Yes. I sang it, yeah, it's marvelous, it's really marvelous. And I remember long ago, again, <laughs> talking about long ago, <laughs> I did uh, I did also Meister singers, I sang the role of Pogner, but uh, this in Parsifal too. But I did it. I did them in, in Italian because uh, that I was in Rome and in, uh, at La Scala. I sang them both with Seraphine, another great maestro still living. Great, great. Master. But uh, close to ninety, I would say. Oh yes, very well. Must be. And uh, so Parsifal was done. It uh, was a, it's an endless part and. Uh, I learned it in Italian and uh, was enthusiastic about then without realizing that it was a, a, a terrific waste of, of energy and time because after having sung it a few times in Italian, my chances to do the, the part uh, around the world were, were cut out. So Either you do it in German or you sing it in Italian only in Italy. Maybe, maybe I don't know, in South America or in Spain you can do it in Italian, but even then, uh, now, the, fortunately, the, the habit of... of uh, of doing uh, Wagner translated is, is gone. Uh, it must be in the original language. Now uh, there is no problem in doing this Parsifal, for instance. But I just I have, as I said, a, a blank check because uh, it's up to me to to to, 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 get to the run room. it. I don't know. I, I should I, I sh if I had a deadline, they would I would say uh, they, suppose they give me three months. In three months, you got to learn it because in three months it is the first performance to. Yeah, all right, so three months if I do nothing else and I work every day like, <laughs> like a mason to it, I may memorize it because uh, German, well, I can, I manage to speak a little German. That's a but, very uh, long road. But it's so long, you know, and uh, so uh, eventually someday I will do, I will do this Parsifal so. in Vienna. And if I do it in Vienna, then uh, most likely I'll be able to, to do it in other theaters and... Of course, this would be a half a debut because I actually sang it, but but still, the first but time in German, in German it would be the first time. Uh, you also do, as you mentioned before, uh, recitals, platform recitals with lead. You're doing one here in New York at Hunter College, aren't you? Oh yeah, yes. I oh uh, in New York I sang in several halls. You sang at Carnegie Hall, of course. Carnegie Hall, uh, Philharmonic Hall, Town Hall, but uh, I sang in Hunter College, in Hunter College a, a couple of times in the past. And I understand that this year it's, uh, I believe, it's the 30th anniversary of the series in Hunter College, and they want to do something really resonant, big, and many artists who have been part of the series throughout these, these years, whoever is still a militant performer, <laughs> <laughs> going to do it. You make it so sound like you're so ancient. You're still a very young man. You debuted here so No, young. but I, you know, I, I, I was laughing because in a 30 year series, they probably won't engage whoever did the first Not, not, first like, the, not like the music. Not, not, not the singers. <laughs> no, I, I, did one, I, made, I did one of the last concerts, as a matter of fact. Uh, do, you, do you usually sing a German lead? Uh, yes, I sing a group of German, as I sing a group of uh, so called these French song, art songs. Uh, I, in other words, try to to put together a, a program that is uh, chronologically uh, uh, correct. I would say mm -hmm. that it, it makes it, just, it may creates a feeling of a span fr from one century to the other through several uh, composers who are. Natu naturally, uh, sep or different country and different uh, style, and yet this is the this is the little secret of concerts. Uh, with the help of a good musician and accompanist, you can just pass from one composer to another composer, uh, respecting chronological uh, 
point and uh, and switching from one style to another one from one language to another one with contrast yet with the legato in other words that one makes well this season at the Met I know that you're I think your first appearance, appearance is in the Notre de Figaro uh, yeah and then next week next week I mean I will start rehearsals soon and uh, on December 11th the first performance will will have place in on the Met Figaro well this is an, as I said the it was in '52 when I did it the first time. In uh, so it's 15 years ago. 15 years. I did it at the Met, and uh, ever since then I did it many, many, many times. What other roles are you going to be singing this year at the Met? Uh, I'm Figaro. singing Figaro, as I said, and uh, and La Forza del Destino. The Padre Guardiano. Yeah. Then uh, I have so many engagements in concerts, and I have to go to sing in Vienna for quite a while in January and February. And uh, then during the spring, I won't have any anything else with the Metropolitan, so I will still do some concerts, and then I go ab again back to Vienna for the for the, the June festival week, yeah. fest May June festival. Yes, yes, I don't know these festivals. They call them June festival. The most of it is done in May, in May. or vice versa, <laughs> but it's about May and June. Yes, if Florence is the same thing. They call it the May festival, but it's done mostly in June. I don't know why. <coughs> Vienna is actually really uh, the festival should be should be a June because uh, actually is a continuation of the entire winter season, but is uh, it, pre it presents a, 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 um, a repertory which is uh, supposed to be the, the highlight of the season, and of course May June in Vienna is la, is like uh, is also a visitors yes. time uh, tourism tourism so time so everything everything is is done in great style. Are there any roles? Last question I want to ask you, Senior CIP, before I let you go this morning. Are there any roles that you haven't yet sung here at the Met that you're looking forward to singing here? Somewhere? Verdi? Any, or any or roles? Jazz. Or any, any roles? <clears throat> well, you know, I have a, 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 an attachment for some roles where I. Uh, roles that I, I did uh, elsewhere, I also did here, mostly. There's one I can think of you haven't. I'd love to hear you do here. But, well, I. I um, Mephistopheles That's Boito. The one. Mephistopheles Boito, yeah. Uh, that's the Boy one I has Mephistopheles, I should say. Uh, uh, I did it practically. I didn't sing it that, that those many uh, many times because those those roles are are, are sort of like Mephistopheles, uh, not obsolete, but it's hard to it's hard to put together such a, a great opera, it's true. And, uh, large and, and busy and costly in any theater in the world. But Boitos Mephistopheles. Uh, all I did it with Toscanini long, long ago in, in a celebration uh, uh, of Boito's uh, in La Scala, at La Scala in Milan. Then I sang the the whole opera again at La Scala with another production, and then I sang it practically all, all over. And of course, you recorded it so magnificently. I have a recording with Decca, yes, that's it, with the Tebaldi and Del Monaco. Yes. Well, I hope to hear you sing that here on the Met stage someday. Well, uh, and we look David. forward to many more decades of that magnificent voice. Signor Siepi, thank you very much for coming. Thank by you, Mr. Wagner. Thank you very much.